Hello and welcome back. So you're interested in my double decker Max 7219 matrix displays. I had um, a little bit of a chat on the bottom of my last video. Uh, a guy was saying, how do I use zones? So I've altered the code, but I've had to use this online simulator to be able to do it because I haven't got any more screens left. So um, the code I've had to amend slightly, but I'm going to go through this amended code and it will become clear exactly what I've done. Now, I haven't adjusted the code much. I've just got the zones working. So let's get on with the double decker matrix code. So um, this is all, all the same at the beginning. And I've had to take out this config statement. So you, I'm not sure if I'm going to post this code or not because I, I can't test it actually on uh, live um, matrix screens because I haven't got them. But there's not much to adjust on the previous code. Anyway, just bear with me. We go through the code. So uh, this is all the same here. This is all the same. Uh, I've changed the buzzer pin, but that's not essential because you're really worried about the uh, the matrix screens working. This is all the same. This is all the same. This is all the same. So where I've changed something major, I've added big spaces in the code. So now we've defined two zones and now we've got eight matrices. We only had four before. So I've had to change the way I defined the pins because I couldn't get the simulator to compile. So it doesn't matter which way you do it. Um, it works either way. Uh, I've had to change the type of screen I'm using on this simulator because it doesn't work on the HC16, I think I was using before. Anyway, you can keep that same, whatever works for you. This is the same, offsets the same, uh, humidity offsets the same, time servers the same, messages are the same. I'm repeating myself a lot here, keep going down, temperature is all the same. Changing the chars into ints is the same. This is the same, getting the messages set up is the same. Right, so the major change I've had to make in the setup, I've had to change the way I get the Wi-Fi to work on the simulator. So you can keep the, the Wi-Fi as it was. You don't need this because this is just for the simulator. Time zones is the same. Time format the same. I've changed the way the buzzer works, but I'd say, again, that's not essential. Um... So this is a change. So notice it's a big space in the code. So because we've got two zones, we've got to tell Parola that we have got two zones, strange enough. I've increased my intensity to seven just for this demonstration on the simulator. I wouldn't go above four if you wired it up through the, um, the ESP1266 USB pins because it draws too much power. So here is the change. We've now set up two zones. So our first zone, which is strange enough, called zero, goes from matrices zero to matrices three. So that's a four-way matrix, and that is on the bottom because I'm going to put the hours and minutes, as you can see over here. Hours and minutes are displayed on the bottom. And zone number one goes from matrices four to number seven. So we have eight matrices because if you go from zero to seven, that equals eight. Yeah, good at maths, aren't I? So I've set up basic fonts um, here initially, but we change them as we go throughout the code. Maximum brightness is the same. Here we're now setting up two zones. So I've changed this one. I, I think this was all messages before, but now I'm saying we're going to just put the time. Uh, on zone number zero, which is the bottom, and any messages scrolled in will go on the top. This is all the same. This is all the same. 
that's all the same now this is where it starts to change so before in my case statement case zero was the time but i've now moved that to the bottom and i'm i've now made this is all about zone zero uh, sorry zone one you can see i've now got a one in here um so and in all the case statements there's also a one here and a one here because everything in these case statements is to do with zone one which is the top uh, four-way matrix so the i've left the code the same so what it scrolls is the same um to try and not to change the code too much um so you can follow along now if you're watching the, the matrix over here you may want to change some of the messages because it's pointless having a scolding message coming across the top which includes the time because the time is now constantly showing on the bottom so here is here's one showing that hours minutes and seconds now that's pointless because you've got it down here um, now you could do something clever with this bottom matrices you could um like i've done in other videos you could divide this four-way matrix into two zones you could have a zone here on the first matrix and a zone on matrix sorry that's matrix zero so on one two and three that could be another zone so you could then go back how i had one of my displays where i had the big uh numbers that was the four by seven characters for hours and minutes and then the three by five for the seconds if you want to continuously show the seconds but you can play with that um so case one again just put the ones here and here case two one and one case three one and one four one and one five one and one i don't um that pause statement can come out don't need that because it's getting the pause statement from there so that was error case six one and one and what i've done here on the i've changed the standard pause statement because you see here uh, here it comes in it pauses for one and a half seconds and does something else so i've put one and a half second delay in here and similarly as you just saw for the humidity down here this is the bit of math that does the uh makes the buzzer beep if you should so want that facility if you haven't got a buzzer it won't buzz then at the end you say right that's the end of the um uh case statements for the zone one go and um up refresh the display and right at the end we go to uh zone zero uh yes zone zero which was defined further up in the code so we use this get time um label and then it will update that so this um void statement is the same and i've blanked out all the wi-fi statements because it doesn't work on the simulator but you can leave all that in I, I, that doesn't do anything that was, that was voided out anyway so yeah that's it so if we just look here <laughs> sorry about the messy wiring but i i haven't really tidied that up so you can see that the hour is uh, hours and minutes with the flashing dots at the bottom and you then you get the scroll you see there's there's the pause one and a half seconds and then you'll see the little buzzer uh, oh the buzzer didn't buzz okay i'm gonna have to look at that code but we're, we're not here for the buzzer code and then it's it starts looping around again so um i'm hoping this is what was it kevin can't remember now sorry mate i, I forgot your name i look in the uh the chat which we had um so that is my version of how to use zones i'm sure there's possibly other ways but that's it so yeah very easy to adjust the code which i will post on github for video uh 
uh, or not video, but the number 12 in the series will be posted the code. So you can just look at this and it's very easy to adjust because I think if I post this code as it is, it won't work because if you upload it onto your uh, Wi-Fi chip and screens, it won't work because it's been altered for this um, simulator software. So, yeah, um, feeling happy. Hope that sorts out the little issue you were having. And, yeah, it's just another way uh, or another another video in our series. I think this is now video 13. Um, so unlucky for some, but double deckers. Yeah. Let's get the bus rolling down the road and have fun with these screens. As Andy, as ever, wishing you happy coding and a good afternoon.